Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be building an ice cream shop and candy store in The Sims 1. I'd been thinking about wanting to build a new community lot, but I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do. Initially I thought maybe I could do like an ice cream stand or just an ice cream shop that would just maybe be by the side of the road. And then I thought it's probably not making the best use of a community lot, like having your Sims go out to a particular lot and all they can do is eat ice cream. So I wanted to have more things to do kind of just on one lot. So as I was going along, it actually ended up turning into kind of a children's play park slash general hangout spot as well. But I kind of thought the ice cream would be the main reason you would come to this lot. I was kind of deciding back and forth whether I wanted to build it in downtown or old town because in downtown obviously you can only take adult sims either by themselves or on dates but you can't take children downtown and you can't take families so I decided to go for old town just so I could build something that was kind of more for everyone while using some of the gameplay features um, that are maybe intended for downtown that come with the hot date expansion like buying candy and yeah eating ice cream I didn't necessarily want to design something that was in the old town New Orleans style. So I kind of took some inspiration from the look and feel of some of the shops in the downtown neighborhood and then combined them kind of with a family friendly vibe kind of in mind. So the shopping area is made up of two like businesses. Initially I wanted to have the ice cream parlor on the left because I made that space a little bit bigger and I thought I would have like a big seating area and maybe even one of the food counters that sells like pizza and hot dogs and things like that but I decided to not do that. I decided to have the ice cream parlor on the right with the access there to the public restrooms because I feel like it's like an establishment that sells food should have toilets really, whereas like the candy store doesn't really need toilets. But I also decided that even though these two businesses are kind of separate in my head, they're also joined with just some archways that go between the two spaces. So maybe the owners are like kind of friendly and they want like the customers to go back and forth and maybe get some ice cream initially and then head on through to the candy store and buy some gifts to take home and the toilets are like free for everybody to use like you don't have to buy ice cream to use them it's not like one of those really strict stores that's like once you come in here you know you have to buy something otherwise we don't tolerate you it's quite a relaxed vibe that would just be a fun place to have like an afternoon out and then behind the main building there is kind of a park area so just to add a little bit more functionality to the lot and just to make use of the space it's almost like the lot is really a park, but has an ice cream shop, like a candy store, like they're on the same lot. It's almost like the park is the main event, really. Like you'd go out to the park and then like maybe get some ice cream. So in the park area, I put one of the rental shack jack buildings where Sims can rent a picnic basket and boats to sail on the fish pond. So these are activities that I guess are mostly intended for adults because the rental shack jack object is originally with the hot date expansion pack to be used downtown, but I don't see why it shouldn't be used in Old Town as well. Then I did add a play area for children, exclusively for children, with just a climbing frame and also some of those, I don't know what they're called, those little animal things that you sit on and rock back and forth. There's a name for them, but I don't know what they're called. And then there's a bench just facing the children's play area where parents can sit and just keep an eye on their kids and make sure that everything is in order, you know, in case anyone falls off the climbing frame or anything like that. I put some pet food bowls and a pet bath around the back of the ice cream shop as well, um, on the right hand side, because when Sims go to Old Town, the whole family comes along at the same time. And if that includes pets, it's probably helpful if, you know, the pets have something to eat while they're out and about. I didn't add any like pet climbing frames or like other like pet activities or pet objects just because the lot was quite small and um, it wasn't supposed to be like a pet center, like a, a pet park. That was not necessarily what I had in mind. It was just more like um, so that pets feel included and are 
welcome here. It is a pet friendly area. I'd like to build a pet store at some point, maybe a pet adoption center, or maybe just like a store where you can buy pet treats and like accessories for your pets. I feel like there's only one lot in the neighborhood where you can actually adopt cats and dogs at the pet paradise lot in the middle of the neighborhood, but it might be nice to build another lot just kind of in a similar vein to that one. Anyway, do leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you've enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.